Hi guys, it's April and I garden down in Southeast Nebraska, zone 5B, now 6A. I like to think of myself as straddling the line there between five and six. But today I am moving on to starting my bunching onions. Last week I started my bulbing onions and this week, since I'm doing my bunching onions, I'm also gonna plant out the rest of my bulbing onions as bunching onions. So that way I can either eat them as green onions or if my, <laughs> they're over there. The bulbing onions are over there sitting underneath the light. But if some of those don't take off the way they should, I can use some of the second round of these starts to fill in the gaps that might happen because while I like to garden, um, not everything grows the way I think it should grow. So it's good to have backup. So I have a couple of five by fives sitting in these trays. I'm just gonna take the seeds, the onion seeds, and I'm just gonna broadcast them over top of the soil, cover them up, put them on the heat mat, and uh, see what happens. It's not overly complicated, I promise. And I don't have a lot of bunching onions. I do have the three bulbing onions that I just talked about. But of course, that was the candy, the walla walla, and the cabernet. If you wanna see me starting these, I'll link the video up above and down below so you can go back and see how I did that. I'll also be showing you where they're at at the end of all of this if you want to know progress of the onions. But otherwise, for actual bunching onions, I have the deep purple bunching onion, and then I have this new one, which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to say correctly because mm, me. It's the Nabchen. It's an F1 hybrid bunching onion. Johnny's just released it for this growing season, so I figured I'd give it a try. So after the soil soaks up as much moisture as it's going to soak up, I'm gonna get these planted. So in this first cell right here, this first five by five, I'm going to be planting the Nabchan bunching onions. And like I said, I am just going to broadcast these seeds over the top of the soil. I am gonna come back through with vermiculite and cover these all up. And I'm gonna do this, the whole bag, because I do not save onion seeds from year to year because I just have not had luck germinating them that second year. So in this second darker pink cell, I'm going to do the deep purple. The idea with my color coding, I don't often actually color code things, but I thought I'd color code these ones so that I know which ones were the true bunching onions and which ones were the bulbing onions I am treating like bunching onions at present. So that is the difference in color right now. The lighter pink is my bulbing onions and the darker pink is the bunching onions. Which means in this first light five by five, I'm gonna be doing the rest of the cabernet. Don't know how much is actually, oh, there's a few. It won't be as dense as the actual bunching onions. In the middle, I am going to do the Walla Wallas. And I suppose I didn't explain the difference in my two bunching onions. When I do bunching onions, I like to do at least one white bunching onion and then one red purple bunching onion. So you can kind of guess that this first one is that white and then the deep purple is that red purple color. And then lastly, on this last cell, we've got the candy onions. And this is probably going to be one of my quickest seed starting days. 
this year because we have now officially put all the seeds to soil. I'm gonna get the vermiculite and I'm gonna cover this over and then I'm gonna spray it with some water to have it all settled. And that's all there is to starting bunching onions. I find them easier to do than bulbing onions just because I can just toss the whole packet in one tiny five by five container. But I like both kinds of onions, so I grow both kinds. Seedling updates. Hmm. Okay, let me, let me give you some seedling updates. I showed you these last time. Let's see if I can get those in focus. Can I? Can I? There we go. The lettuce is doing really well. Their first fertilization is going to be happening on Friday, so we should see them really start to take off as I start to fertilize them. The sweet potato. So I am not 100% sure how long it's supposed to take a sweet potato to start creating slips. Still don't have any slips, and I pulled it up out of the soil to check underneath to see if maybe there was roots happening or whatever, but there's nothing. I am keeping the soil moist, not damp, and it's under lights, so I guess I just keep on seeing if it works. Because not only is the sweet potato not doing anything, the kiwi is still not doing anything. And if I remember from when I did it, Three years ago, it took about a month and a half before I saw anything green. And on the back of the packet, it could say up to three months to germinate. So I might not see anything on the kiwi for quite some time. The bulbing onions that I planted, I put a humidity dome back on this because they weren't quite sprouting the way I wanted them to. I may have taken them off the heat mat earlier than I probably should have, but I, I will show you what they look like. So I took the onions out from underneath the light and took the dome off so that you can kind of see what's going on. But we've got some sprouts in quite a few of the cells, but then again, there are quite a few that have things that are sprouting but they're not as far along as some of these other ones. So like I said, I put the dome back on so that those ones that are just starting to emerge have some moisture so they can do what they need to do. I'm hoping by the next time that I show you all of these onions, there should be something in every single cell. So fingers crossed. And that is all I have for you for this video. Next week, I'm pretty sure I am starting some of my biannuals, so like Foxglove, Sweet Williams, um, Hollyhocks. I might be doing Agasashi at that point, but I need to double check, but I'm gonna be doing some of those flowers. I am still waiting on some information about what we're doing with the new beds outside. It's just, piles of dirt at this point because I have completely taken apart all of the old beds. So hoping to get information on that soon, but as soon as I know, I'll let you guys know. If you want to follow me on my seed starting journey or the bed making journey, subscribe down below, hit the bell, do all the things to get all of the notifications. I also have a Instagram and threads account which I sometimes update before I update YouTube, so you can follow me over there as well. Otherwise, I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your seed starting and or growing season. I would love to know what you guys are doing down below, and I do hope I will see you guys in another video. I heart your beautiful faces. Bye.